It shuttles fatty acids into the mitochondria. Carnosine acts as a buffer. Acts as a buffer. Um, who here watches uh, Animal Planet or Nat Geo and watches animals kill other animals? <laughs> yeah. Um, you ever watch the big cats hunt? Jaguars, leopards, cheetahs, tigers, lions. Very cool. And or sprint animals, right? They stalk, they stalk, and they sprint. And if they don't catch you that first like quarter mile, forget it. They're dead. They have to rest. They produce so much lactate, or their pH, the pH of their muscle drops so much that their muscle levels of carnosine are super high to help buffer that acid buildup. Um, and so in animals that are sprint animals, you see high levels of carnosine. What would be an example of an athlete that produces a lot of lactate? Sprinters, right? right? Especially 400 meter guys. Traditional bodybuilding training produces a lot of lactate. Fighters do, wrestlers, boxers, MMA guys. Naturally, you're going to have high levels of this, but if you take this stuff, it makes it even better. Um, so here's some of the data. This is from the Amino Acid Journal, 2006. Taking about three to six grams produces a pretty big increase in muscle carnosine. Um, sprinters are helped taking beta alanine. This is a 2007 study. Um, it, it, it lessens fatigue during isokinetic contraction bouts in trained sprinters. So it helps sprinters. Helps uh, endurance cycling. So if you sort of look here, you're talking uh, one end of the energy spectrum, right? The ATP, PCR, energy system, and lactic acid system. And then at the other end, it helps a cyclist, where they have to sprint at the end of a race. So it helps both the endurance athlete and the sprint-type sprint, sprint type athlete. And again, looking, look at the dosing, it's about 2 to 4 grams a day. Uh, 2009 study showing it helps sprint and performance at the end of a cycling bout again. Um, and these are the dosing protocols. Dosing protocols. How much do you have to take? Because the problem with beta alanine is the multiple dosing. People don't want to take multiple doses like all day. It's just a pain in the butt. So what we found is that uh, doing this low dose here, about 1.6 grams a day, can actually be enough. You just, got, you just have to stay on it for an extended period of time. And that really, you could just take one pill a day, depending on the size of the pill, I guess. Uh, before, the typical dosing was like three to six grams a day, which is a lot of beta alanine, because you're like tingling all day, and you don't want to tingle all day. Um, beta alanine helps trained athletes. This was a study on football players and wrestlers. Uh, lean body mass increased in the beta alanine supplemented group. So lean body mass went up. Now, it's not a direct effect. The way beta, beta alanine works is by enhancing the ability to perform work. You train harder, train longer perhaps, and that is the stimulus for increasing muscle protein synthesis. Okay, so you produce more lean mass. Um, washout. Uh, one, to th one, to one to three grams per day is effective for increasing muscle carnosine. Washout rates are 2%, so if you go cold turkey, if you go cold turkey, there's about a 2% drop. Um, the absolute increase in muscle carnosine is dependent upon total beta alanine consumed. So, people ask about uh, cycling protocols, on-off cycles. I'll talk about creatine later, but with beta alanine, you could actually go on an off cycle much longer than creatine. Why? Because you, can, you have elevated muscles of carnosine for much longer periods of time. So you could actually go on beta alanine for a few months, go cold turkey for a month, even maybe two, and you'll still have high levels of carnosine. Creatine, based, you, you, you fall close faster to ba uh, baseline a little bit faster than you would with beta alanine. So you can't go on an off cycle of creatine as, uh, a, a, for an extended period of time. So in summary, about 1.6 1, 1. to 6 grams a day is what you need, and it takes about two weeks to get a performance effect. Two weeks. Um, in fact, if you take enough, uh, you, could probably, you could get a really a pretty, pretty big effect in those two weeks. And again, the primary mechanism is it buffers hydrogen ions. Buffers hydrogen ions. Yes, sir. Any particular brand that um, doesn't cause that much tingling is more comfortable? They all <laughs> cause tingling. Okay. They all cause tingling. Yeah, in fact, if it's not causing tingling, then it's not beta alanine. Okay. Yeah. I thought they had formulated yeah. it. So. No, and for me, actually, I feel it just in my fingers. Some people actually feel mm -hmm. it in their face. Yeah, I feel it. Like yeah. I mean, I, I think I might be irritated if it was my neck and my face, but it's yeah. just my fingers, and it lasts five minutes, and it goes away. So, it's not so bad.